Welcome to The Boiling Point. We're with Bill Fogarty, head of our valve shop. And Bill, it's been a while since we've talked a little bit about the uh, safety valves. Mm -hmm. And so I thought we'd maybe just go over what is a safety valve, kind of how they work, how they work on the system. Sure. And then you'll go actually through maybe uh, showing us a little bit about the internals and how they work as well. So right. go ahead. Well, a safety valve really refers to the valve on top of a boiler as opposed to a safety relief valve or a relief valve. Uh, typically safety relief valves or relief valves are used off boiler, section okay. eight. Boiler is a section one application. Okay. Um, the safety valve on top of a boiler has to reach its full relieving capacity at 3% over pressure. Okay. So for instance, if this valve was set at 100 pounds, at 103 pounds, we want this valve in full lift and flowing everything it can. Okay. It's a much tighter tolerance than, for instance, a safety relief valve or a relief valve has to meet. Okay. So we'll go over some of the basic uh, uh, construction of a, of, a, of a safety valve. Um, this is the nozzle. Uh, got an upper ring, a lower ring, and we have a spring. Basically, the way a, a, a safety valve works is we have a spring force which is pushing down. The valve set at 100 pounds. The, the spring is pushing down at 100 pounds of force, 100 mm -hmm. PSI of force. Of course, uh, this is threaded to the boiler, so we have a certain pressure, a given pressure coming up under that nozzle. Mm -hmm. Now, if the boiler reaches 100 PSI and the spring pressure is 100 PSI, if, if the construction isn't correct, nothing happens. The valve doesn't pop. Well, we want the valve to lift fully open and to relieve all its capacity at 103 PSI. So how does that work? How does the valve do that? Well, we've got a valve here we'll take apart and we'll go over some of the internals to explain how that works. This is the nozzle. This is threaded in uh, on top of the boiler. This is the disc which sits on top of the nozzle. This is the spring that pushes down on that disc. Hmm. So for instance, we would have a valve set at 100 PSI, we have 100 PSI of force coming down, and if the, if the, we want the safety valve to lift at 100 PSI. Okay. So something has to happen because we have 100, P, 100 PSI of force coming down, 100 PSI of force coming up, those equal one another. Mm -hmm. So what happens is that as we approach 100 PSI, the valve begins to simmer. Okay. Okay. What happens is, you can see how big the nozzle is, the big diameter of the nozzle. And if you notice, the disc is slightly bigger. Okay. Okay. So what happens, force is equal to pressure times area. So if we have 100 pounds of force coming down, 100 pounds of force coming up, nothing happens. Mm -hmm. I can't increase the pressure, they're equal, but I can't increase the area. Okay. So as we get up to 100 PSI, steam begins to simmer out around the, the disc, mm -hmm. causes a larger area, causes a greater force in 100 PSI, this disc lifts, boom, it pops open. Okay. Okay. Right. Yep. When the pressure is relieved, comes back down, sits right down again. Okay. So that's, what, that's why it pops open mm -hmm. at 100 PSI when the spring pressure is 100 PSI. We've increased the area that the steam's working on. Now when it pops like that, is it something that you can just keep on popping or what? What happens? You know, the, the adage in the industry is that the safety valve is designed to do its job once. Once okay. it's done, it's done its job. It's mm -hmm. relieved the overpressure. It's a very good idea if you've lifted it, when, uh, when you know it's lifted, go up and see if it's leaking by. Very common for, for dirt, scale or whatever, to get caught between the nozzle and the disc. Okay. If that happens, it's going to continue to leak and you're going to, you're going to ruin the valve eventually. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. Um, so typically on a safety valve, we recommend taking them off the boiler and go, doing a full repair once a year. Okay. Then it'll keep the valve going for many, many years. It's not uncommon to get 30, 40 years of life out of a particularly a flange safety valve if they're routinely uh, repaired. Okay. okay. So when we do a repair, we go back and we take all these, we check dimensions on all these component parts and we take them back to the manufacturer's allowable tolerances. Okay. And that, so the valve comes to you back to the customer pretty much as good as new. Okay. Um, and, the, and then we put a VR stamp on them and we, uh, 
you know, they're essentially repaired to new standards. Okay, okay. And that becomes, uh, from a safety valve standpoint, you can actually, I guess, keep using that that valve over and over and over, which we right. have things like that in the rental industry where we have to put valves, sure. safety valves with the rentals and, uh, and, and set them at different pressures and things mm -hmm. like that for whatever the customer is needing. Yeah, but I mean, it's as long as you maintain it, they, they, they'll operate a long time. Parts are common, you know, common parts like springs, disc, nozzles are generally readily available. Mm -hmm. They're designed to be repaired. They're, designed, they're not designed necessarily to be thrown away. Even small valve, valves like this could be repaired a number of times. Okay. So, As far as on the boiler, um, I mean, would you consider this last line of defense, yeah. if, if you will? Yeah. I mean, without it, what Something happens? Bad's gonna Something happen. bad. Yeah. Something's going to relieve somewhere. The pressure will relieve one way or another. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Something is going to come apart. Okay. So. Uh, All right. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. Got anything else? I think that's it. All right. Super. Call now, us. Well, call us if you need some repairs, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, Bill, thank you for uh, hanging out with us today, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Bill stopping by with us and talking about safety valves. Whether you use wear in the valve shop, or someone else. Make sure that you're checking those valves out. As he said, the last line of defense for the safety valve, so very, very important to check out. Now, ASHRAE is coming up. We'll be out in Las Vegas on January the 30th, 31st, and the 1st. You can check out our booth. Make sure you come by. We've got some goodies to give away. Always get a great t-shirt, and it's always great to see you. Well, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and if you don't mind, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and maybe even share a video. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.